how to find roots from vertex form. Given the equation minus 2 times x minus 12 whole square plus 18 equals to 0. Solve the equation and list all the steps. Well, this is an excellent example and I have seen students getting stuck when they get equation in this form and they need to find the solution. Finding solution means the finding zeros for this particular equation. So, see the steps carefully and then follow them to solve similar questions. So, the question or the equation before us is minus 2 x minus 12 whole square plus 18 equals to 0. The first step is to so take the constant term on the right hand side. So when we do that we get minus 2 x minus 12 whole square equals to minus 18. And the second step is to divide by minus 2 both sides. So when we do that then minus 2 gets cancelled from here and you are left with x minus 12 whole square equals to minus 18 over minus 2 and that is equals to minus minus cancel out and you get 9 and now you square root both sides when you square root remember to do plus and minus square root so we get x minus 12 when you square root this side you get rid of the square term and on the other side you get plus minus square root of 9 right and plus minus square root of 9 is plus minus 3. While it is not necessary that all the time you will get a perfect square here. If you don't, leave it as a radical or a square root. right? And now you add 12 both sides and you get x equals to 12 plus or minus 3. So that brings you with two different solutions. So one solution is x equals to 12 plus 3 which is 15 and the other is x equals to 12 minus 3 which is 9. So you have two solutions to the given equation. So let's go through these steps once again. So in the very first step when you write down the equation you add minus 18 both sides. So the idea is to take away the constant term right. So this is your constant term. So the first step is to take constant term constant term is to be added on both the sides with a negative sign okay so first take care of the constant term on the right side of the equation second is divide by the leading coefficient which is a so second step is divide both sides by let me say a normal equation it will be our factor a which is the leading coefficient right and then next step is square root when you square root remember to put plus and minus sign that is very important otherwise you lose one of the answers and your solution will be wrong why do we so do so you remember in this case minus 3 square is also equals to 9 just as 3 square is. So we are expecting two answers here. right? So once you do that, then it is a matter of solving for x. right? So solve for x by adding or subtracting the constant term left within the bracket. Correct? And solve for x, let me write variable here, and get all the solutions. right? So remember, it is plus and minus, so you expect two solutions. right? So whenever you do these kinds of questions, you may actually get two solutions or one solution or I should say no real solution, right? Let me add the word real here. So you may get two solutions as we got here. You may get one solution. Sometimes in the square root, it will be zero or you get no real solutions. Sometimes it could be negative. So look for for all the kinds of solutions and then clearly write down your answer. So the answer is x equals to 15 and 9. So these are the two solutions to the given equation. I hope the steps are cleared and these steps have to be followed whenever the equation is given in vertex form for solving. I hope you appreciate it. Thank you and all the best.